goal is to make liquid transportation fuels from biomass, uh, to replace, uh, not just liquid transportation fuels, but also to replace the, the whole barrel of oil. Uh, so fuels and chemicals as well. And fuels that aren't magic fuels that you can use you know, in, a, in a supercar someday, but fuels that we can use today in our current fleet, in particularly in airplanes or uh, in the form of trucking or shipping and diesel and, and renewable gasoline as well. The process for turning glycerol into propylene glycol uh, is chemistry that's been known about for you know, 100 years or so. But our contribution was looking for and finding a catalyst and a process that does it efficiently. Um, and here's an example of a glycerol molecule here. And really, the chem chemistry is quite simple, just a matter of dehydroxylating it and turning it into propylene glycol and leaving water behind as the byproduct. This process for turning uh, glycerol into propylene glycol represents, for the first time, an economically competitive route that competes with petroleum. Um, and the use of, of sugars, sugar alcohols, or the glycerin from biodiesel represents an opportunity to now make propylene glycol for the first time um, on an industrial scale out of renewable resources. What I really enjoy is taking a, a existing chemical process, something from a scientific basis, something that can be done inside a beaker, and translating that into something that can be done on a pilot or even on an industrial scale. Something taking, taking good science, but really applying it to something that, that can be used for all of our good. I'm Alan Zacker, and I'm a chemical engineer at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. And I'm developing a process for turning uh, biomass into liquid transportation fuels.